Hello everybody, I'm here to tell you about joining the senior school mathematics department here at Bede School. Well, as you can probably imagine, we're one of the largest departments at the school. In fact, we have our own building, the Lakeside Mathematics Department. We get up to all sorts of things down there, uh, you know, games, competitions, trips, lectures. There's an awful lot of things going on uh, on a regular basis. But the things that I wanted to talk to you about was some of our cutting edge research that we've been doing over the course of the last six months. Um, you might be thinking we've been doing research into how to uh, help people who are bald grow hair and if so it would have been very successful but sadly no that's not what we've been doing we've actually been looking into online genius tests for mathematics because that's right we can work out if you're a genius at mathematics just with this a simple online test i'm going to explain the test to you okay so we're going to go through it today uh within our genius test um so first of all you need to think of a two-digit number it can be any two-digit number that you want to think of uh, i'm going to go for the number uh, 91, that's my number. And then what I need you to do is once you've got your two-digit number, is I need you to reverse the digits. So in my case, I would reverse the digits and I'd write the number 19. And then finally, what you need to do is take away the, you'll have one smaller number, one bigger number, take away the smaller number from the bigger number. And in my case, I'm doing the sum 91 take away 19, which uh, uh, just bear with me a second while I try and work out is uh, 72. Uh, that's right, 72. Uh, so that's my number. My number is the number 72. Okay. And whatever your number is, uh, that's the number that I want you to think about. You know, you've done your subtraction and every your number there. Now, how the genius test works is, uh, if you look at the screen here, if you find your number, whatever number that might be, and look at the picture above the number, if you're a mathematical genius, you'll be staring at a specific picture. There's, you know, only one picture that the geniuses always end up picking. Uh, and in this case, if you've got your number, hopefully you've got your picture, the number is uh, the 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 picture is this so if you're staring at this picture it means that you are a mathematical genius okay so if you've done it once it could have been a fluke it could have been a one-off so let's try it again let's think of another two digit number 36 let's say reverse the digits that's 63 for me and then do the smaller number to take away from the bigger number so in my case i do 63 take away 36 okay now your final answer, what I want you to do is on this screen here I want you to find uh, the picture above your number so find the right number and then find the picture and then, um, again, if you're staring at a specific picture, it turns out you're a mathematical genius. And the picture you should be staring at is this picture here. If, it, if you're staring at that picture, you are a mathematical genius. Okay, so two times in a row, maybe you should check it for a third. So maybe you've got two out of the three correct. Let's try it one more time. So any other two-digit number, please, you know, whatever you want to pick, 54, you know, 72. Don't pick the digits the same. It doesn't quite work if the digits are the same. But um, reverse the digits. If you pick 72, pick 27. So 72, 27, and then take away the smaller number from the bigger number. So you do 72, take away 27. Okay, you got your answer? 72, take away 27. I think it starts with a four. Uh, now, on the screen here, you find your number, then find the picture above your number. And if you're a mathematical genius, you will be staring at this picture right now. Uh, which hopefully uh, by now some of you might be thinking, well, I am a mathematical genius. And if you are, uh, we're going to welcome you to B-School because we've got an awful lot of things planned uh, to do. Now, usually when you first arrive uh, in the first few weeks, we uh, go on a trip to Thorpe Park here. Uh, sadly, uh, due to coronavirus, we can't go on that trip to Thorpe Park. It's pretty sad things there. But I'm working on an alternative and maybe, maybe, maybe we, I've got a good alternative, which is here to the Woodbridge Sewage Treatment Works. Uh, not sure if it's uh, uh, going to work out. Uh, not sure it's going to be a popular one. But if it does turn out, uh, Wellington Boots, clothes you don't mind throwing away. That's probably what I would recommend there. Um, what we do here at the uh, senior school, though, certainly in the first month, is one thing that you really need to bring along is a calculator. You do, from the very first lesson, bring on a calculator. And the reason why you want to bring on a calculator is this. When you, first of all, have... Um, um, uh, you know, do math at the prep school, what you'll have is something, you'll be doing fractions, you'll be doing things like this. And it isn't a pain in the neck doing this. You have to sort of work it all out. You have to, you know, times it by 11, work out common denominator. It's such a pain in the neck to do. And, oh, I don't know, is it? Is it oh, no, 77. And also you, you might be doing fractions. And again, oh, fractions are a pain in the neck to do. You know, you have to do all these complicated sums, 35 over 100 times by eight and so on and so forth. Well, at the scene school, we don't do any of that, like, the long hand what we do is we get a calculator and we put the numbers in the calculator and we press equals and it's a lot quicker to do this and actually we, we, we do quite a lot in the senior school we do a lot of shortcuts here and in your first month i'm going to show you how to use your calculator really well to do all this hard stuff that you've been doing at the pet school much more easier 
So here we are. That's a bit of information about what it's like to uh, study at the uh, senior school. Uh, well, I think we're all very much looking forward to seeing you um, and, and looking forward to an exciting year next year.